Hey guys, it's Karen and I'm here to do a review of this, the Isentree SPF stick. I did a little post here on YouTube on this. Um, I had hoped to do a video, but um, as you'll know from my post, Watson got attacked, unfortunately, and bitten and needed stitches and whatnot. Um, so I just did a little post saying what I thought about it, but asked if you wanted a full review and you did. So I thought this was really interesting because it's been very popular. Um, it, I'm seeing it everywhere and I thought I've never actually tried an SPF stick and it would be handy to possibly have as a sort of top up, you know. Um, so yeah, full review for you today. I got mine from Amazon, but it's definitely cheaper if you want to go um, to like, I don't know whether Yes Style do it, but I think Style Varna do it. Um, but obviously you need to wait for it to arrive then. I was just not patient enough and happy to pay a few more pounds to get it off Amazon and get it immediately and get, get uh, testing with it. <laughs> um, so it is an SPF 50 plus, um, PA++++, so um, I know that some people like to see those PA++++ um, and find that reassuring, so that's good. It's cruelty-free and vegan. Um, the sunscreens in here are mostly old chemically type ones with a couple of the newer ones in. And I did a little poll on here as well asking if most of the people that were watching preferred a mineral sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen or a mix of both, you know, weren't bothered. And most of you, well, it was a 50-50 split, basically. Some of you said mineral, some of you said chemical, um, and a few said don't mind either or. So um, I'm sort of stepping out and being a bit less cautious, I guess you could say, um, in the ones that I'm oops, buying and using. But it still stands that I would prefer to use 100% mineral sunscreen. So the sunscreens that are in here are homosalate, octinoxate, octisalate. Those are the kind of older ones. And then it also has Juvenal A and Tinazorb S in here. So a nice mix of different um, sunscreens. The other ingredients to know are niacinamide, which is great for the skin barrier. Ceramide, which is a nice uh, moisturiser. Glycerin, another nice moisturiser. Aloe vera and sodium hyaluronate. So there's some really nice ingredients in there. It's fragrance free um, and it definitely leaves no white cast at all. Like There's no colour at all from this as you can see. I didn't realise I've actually put the prices down here. I got it for £21.50 from Amazon Prime. Um, from YesStyle, you can get it for nearly £15, but you pay £4.30 postage, so it'd be £2 less from YesStyle and £5 less from Stylevana at the time I was looking, because those figures do change. Um, so I was happy to pay that extra um, £5 to not wait weeks, weeks to get it. Just having a look at the description there and what they say and actually they're describing it as a perfect for on the go sun, sun protection so it is kind of marketed as a, a portable sun protection and that's what I was going to say I would use it for. It's not something I would use as my base FPF every day. Um, it goes on lovely. I mean when you first put it on you kind of feel like have I put anything on? You know I put it Put it all over my face. I think I've got the video of me doing it without makeup. I definitely did it with makeup so you could see how it goes on top. Yeah, you can feel that you've put something on, but like barely, you know, you're like, oh, hold on a second. You know, it just goes on so invisibly. Um, but for me, it wouldn't be enough hydration for me to put it on in the morning on its own. Like I did try it that way and it just, I felt like I needed just something a little bit more. My skin felt too matte if you like which I would have killed four years ago but at the moment I need something a bit more hydrating but it's definitely definitely a matte finish. I said there was two reasons didn't I that it, it wouldn't be something I'd use as my base SPF and I can't remember what the second reason is. I suppose one is that it's not hydrating enough for me and two is that I, I find it easier just to get cream in all, all the, the nooks and crannies with my fingers rather than using this. But I do think it would be enough um, if I was out and about, I would have sunglasses on, maybe even a hat knowing me. But it's very easy to like, you know, do across there, get in between your nose, around there. You know, it is it is definitely an easy stick to use. This is the shape of it. They call it a teardrop shape. Um, definitely something I would put in my bag. I might take that on um, holiday with us this year for when we're going out for walks with Watson, you know, and if I feel like it's getting too hot, I can put a little bit extra, especially like, you know, places on your nose and places that you end up getting burnt. Um, or you go out and you've suddenly thought, oh, I've forgotten. Kev often forget to do like the back of his neck or his ears or something like that. Um, and I could use it for that. So it says perfect for on the go sun protection. Um, the hyaluronic acid airy sun stick, as it's called, is super easy roll on sunscreen. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Formulated with moisturizing blend of hyaluronic acid and flower extracts. Creamy, non-sticky formula. Yes, it's definitely creamy. Um, and it's definitely non-sticky. Like where I put it on there, it just feels smooth, 
just feels like a really nice base for makeup actually although like i said i probably wouldn't use it that way um infused with cooling aloe vera and nourishing flora extracts with a unique water water drop shaped applicator this is designed to apply easily around the contours of your face yeah it's good because of its water drop you've got that sort of pointy end that you can get in the corners of your nose like so so i have never found um a sunscreen that i can happily put over makeup there are ones that you can buy that are powder but they're i don't recommend them from a safety point of view because of you're inhaling the particles um and <clears throat> so that's not something that i would personally use and so anything else is really tends to move your makeup about but I've, I've tried this and like i said i have videoed it and i will put that in for you and it doesn't leave your makeup perfect but it's i don't know if i can do it just now because i've got another video to do but if i put it on here you can't see any makeup come off you maybe see a little bit coming off there with that second swipe but there's definitely product on there you know it's it's really odd like i've used it all over and gone well it doesn't look like i haven't taken every bit of my makeup off you know it's maybe not as perfected you could maybe do this and then go over it with a face powder um and i just think it's it's really really good for that it's a good portable one and it's a great one to wear to use over makeup i don't think there's anything that's going to be perfect there are sprays again i've tried a, a couple of sprays years ago and, and reviewed them on here but again i feel like you'd inhale the particles so it's not something i'd really want to be doing i just tend to not wear makeup if i'm going to go out in the sun you know or i've got a high spf and we're not out we don't stay in it for very long or i wear a hat or you know we, we get into the shade or avoid the sun basically um i'm not going to be out in it very much but i think that this would be good for you if i don't think you'd enjoy it if you've got very dry skin you're not going to be able to just use this but i don't think many people do that do they you know if you're somebody that likes to use a moisturizer and then a sunscreen you might well like this because you know it sort of shortens that step um because you just sort of whiz it over and it and it's quite quick um if you are looking for something to put on top of your makeup that won't ruin it too much this would be great and if you're looking for something portable just to bung in your handbag it's it's you know it's small and lightweight and yeah that's what i would recommend it for so that's everything about this let me know if you have tried this and what you think and or if you're tempted to try it and that's everything let me tell you what i'm wearing makeup wise i have got on the uh why am i going to say quarterly it's not called quarterly at all i don't know why that name come into my head um catrice similar spelling <laughs> it's the catrice liquid hd foundation um on my eyes is my charlotte tilbury easy nudes palette um on my cheeks is blush a blush by nars called sin it's a very old one of mine and on my lips is the huda beauty liquid lipstick in baby doll that's everything thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you again soon